Well, Volley Truthers, coming off the Capitol Hill Classic, we had a week off, then headed straight to the Raleigh, North Carolina, to the Maple Raleigh Volleyball Tournament. So let's get right into this review. The truth is, I thought I had been to Raleigh, but I had not. I had been to Greensboro. So it was our very first time in Raleigh. So we stayed in the AC Hotels Marriott. This hotel was tall, beautiful, clean, and smelled oh so great. But the rooms were small, extra cute, but extra small, with extra small refrigerators, no microwave, two extremely small drawers, which I have never seen a hotel with no drawers to put our clothes away in. I guess this Marriott is like they do not want anyone staying any longer than they absolutely have to. Now, the bathroom, now, that was spacious and nice. Definitely enough elbow room. So that was a plus. They do serve breakfast up on the top floor. There's also like a bar up on the rooftop. So that was super duper sweet. But anyway, breakfast is not complimentary and there's not even a set price as the chef on site sets like a different price depending on what is made to order. So now that's different sort of kind of like burger king you can have it your way i guess well it was breakfast sandwiches bananas muffins juice and water for our girl and us for the weekend but that was just us so anyway fyi also be aware that the key card for this hotel is the one that you kind of have to hold up to the elevator and have on you at all times that it is needed to access the floors above level one Okay, but the hotel parking, there is an option that you can get it valet parking at an astronomical price of like 30 bucks a day, or you can actually park it yourself at the Bank of America building for the grand total price of absolutely free. Gotta love it. So on to the tournament, the entrance tickets. While the Maple Raleigh website is not really about anything special, right, in particular, or really interactive. The tickets were relatively easy to find when they were finally posted, and they were very reasonably priced at $18 per person for the weekend. So that was really good. But be aware, event parking is $15 per day in the parking garage located right next door to the, the convention center. Or you can park on the street if you are lucky. The Maple Raleigh is a two-day tournament event held at the Raleigh Convention Center located downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. This tournament has two waves, a.m. and p.m. of volleyball for girls and check this, for boys, which is different and exciting. It was actually more exciting for the boys because this Maple was the biggest event held as of yet on this side of the country at 75 boy teams. So congratulations to them for the awesome turnout. Here are some of the boys teams to look out for. RCVA out of Richmond, Virginia. OBC of Cedarburg, Wisconsin. TCVA of Tri-County out of Swartz, Texas. Triangle of Raleigh, North Carolina. Coastal out of Hampton, Virginia. LNK of Charlotte, North Carolina. XL of Gainesville, South Carolina. Empower Beach of Fort Wayne, Indiana. CUVC, which is Carolina Union of Charlotte, North Carolina. So for the tournament format, the format was the same power pool play format as that of the Maple Hampton. So the first day starts off super duper tough, which is always great. Go hard or go home, right? So each team has to play three extremely 
tough matches on Saturday that fits their caliber or their team's level of play. And on Sunday, play consists of the reset and or shuffling of winners and well, let's call them learners to battle it out in the gold challenge one, gold challenge two, gold challenge three, gold challenge four, flight one or flight two, which consists of about two to three matches that will determine if teams win out that bracket or lose ref and go home early. So here are some friendly faces and some fresh faces from the girl side. Chavik or C-H-A-V-C, Chapel Hill. Metro, 757, AKA Coastal Hampton Roads. Paramount, IC Stars, American, CJV, and Roanoke United. Now remember, there are no bag tags in these tournaments and only first, second, and third place awards are for those winners of Gold Bracket One. So here are some other goings on during the Raleigh Maple Tournament. The Raleigh Downtown Nightlife was lit. Everything was in walking distance. Food, fun, games, and even a Harris Teeter grocery store. There was everything from a nail shop to King's, which was something like a Dave and Buster's, not to mention not even 2.5 miles down the road and onto the highway a little bit was the Crabtree Mall that was, of course, jam-packed with everything that anyone could want or even possibly need. The Crabtree Mall was the hot spot for all ages and had a very, very diverse crowd. Now, back to the tournament. I was actually able to speak with the director of the Mapo Raleigh, and she's actually the owner of Triangle Volleyball Club, Miss Sherry. And I was grateful that she took the time to answer just a few questions that I had for her because of the debacle with the singing of the national anthem. I started by asking about the vetting process, and she stated that she told or asked the players that they needed to know how to sing and that they assured her that they did. But once they took the mic, the only thing left was to either allow them to finish or actually take, snatch the mic from them in which either case was the utmost embarrassment. So she actually went with the latter, which was allowing them to finish. And I just had to respect the choice that she made. Needless to say, 757 Volleyball Club coaches, parents, and players need to be embarrassed, horrified, and downright ashamed of the two players that laughed while attempting to sing on every word. I'm sure that Director Sherry of Maple Riley will do a better job of vetting players or just have the music play as she did the following day. Way to go, Director Sherry. As she did state that the coach and the parents of the players did in fact apologize for the actions of the players. I want to take this time to step in and let this be known that this is the second time that I have been a witness to the disrespectful actions of children. I don't know if their feet will be held to the fire, but there needs to be consequences and repercussions for the things that these children are doing. We cannot continue to let, to look past their antics and just brush them off as, oh, it's just them being kids. It's just enough is enough. So I also asked what makes Maple Raleigh different from other maples and the only thing or things that differs that uh, director sherry could come up with were that raleigh offers a boys division which is big at around 75 teams and going to get bigger every year 
that the venue is bigger and ran on separate weekends, the first weekend being for younger players and boys at the convention center downtown Raleigh, and that the following weekend is for older girls, which that portion of the map of Raleigh, Raleigh will actually be held at the Triangle Volleyball Club itself. So at the tournament, there was only one vendor selling shirts, long sleeve, short sleeve, sweatpants, sweatshirts, and hoodies with any logo you wanted. But unlike Maple Hampton, there was not a lot of variety to choose from. The items were very expensive as you had to pay for the clothing item itself and each additional iron on. So yeah, things could get really pricey real fast. Now, for my very, very favorite part of the show, food, food, and more food. You know I cannot do a review without uh, the food. This venue was no different. It did have its outside food vendors upstairs only and the concession stand downstairs on the tournament floor. So let me start on the tournament floor and then work my way up. The concession stand had an area courtside with tables where spectators could sit, eat, and still watch some of the action. The concession served breakfast sandwiches, bananas, big old, big old cookies, sandwiches, soda, juice, water chips, fries, hamburgers. Of course, they had condiments. They had pizza, candy, and much, much more. Now, the upstairs, outside vendors sold smoothies and conda ices. There was even a vendor selling fresh Greek salads with your choice of chicken, turkey, and or ham. And you can count me in on that. To sum up the map of Raleigh, this was low-key a fun tournament. If you have never seen guys play before, you were in for a great treat with this tournament because the guys go so hard, fast and nonstop, while the girls play was strong, fast paced and exciting as well. The tickets and parking was a great relief on the pockets, especially coming off of one of the more expensive weekends, the Capio Classic. Now, the area was nice and popping and conveniently located to everything. Now. You know you can't have the good without the bad, right? The downside, vet the national anthem singers, okay? Offer bag tags. You might want to do that to all the participants, okay? So there's not enough clothing or souvenir options, and you could have more vendor options. Now, is the Maple Raleigh a tournament to do? Most definitely. It checks off all of the must-haves, especially when looking to save money, not miss school, not have to stay to play, and ultimately meet hard competition the very first day out the gate. That's what the Maples are designed for. And that's exactly what you're going to get. Get punched in the mouth or do the punching. I want to thank Director Sherry again for taking the time to speak with The Volley Truth. We do appreciate you and wish you continued success and luck. Until next time. That's all for now, but if you like the content, leave a comment below, spike the like button, and subscribe to my channel.